According to the latest report published by the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute SIPRI, America spent the most of any nation when it comes to military hardware. The US dominates the space on a grand scale. US military spending easily dwarfed the rest of the world. Total US military expenditure of $611 billion is over one-third of world military expenditure. This is nearly three times the level of China's spending, which is ranked second. With strong funding in research and development, the US has been able to invent cutting-edge weapons and produce them in numbers. So, when it comes to lethal weapons, the US military has no shortage. But in case of any eventuality, the US may bring the big guys to the table and we can actually call these doomsday weapons. In this video, Defense Updates lists the top five most powerful weapons of the US that are currently in service. Number five. The B-1 Lancer is a supersonic variable sweep wing heavy bomber used by the United States Air Force USAF. It is commonly called the Bone. It is one of three strategic bombers in the USAF fleet as of 2017, the other two being the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber and the B-52 Stratofortress. B-1B has an excellent range of 5,900 miles or 9,400 kilometers. It has a very good service ceiling of 60,000 feet and coupled with stealth characteristic, the B-1B is an elusive target for even modern air defenses. It has a massive payload of 125,000 pounds internal and external ordnance combined. This enables it to carry huge amounts of bombs. For example, 144 GBU-39 small diameter bomb GPS guided bombs or 24 AGM-154 joint standoff weapon or 24 AGM-158 joint air to surface standoff missile. Importantly, these can be configured to carry nukes as well. Number four. The Nimitz class supercarriers are a class of 10 nuclear powered aircraft carriers in service with the United States Navy. Nimitz class displaces about 100,000 tons and spans 333 meters long. To give viewers a perspective, these are almost three football fields long. It's capable of carrying more than 60 fighter jets, so a single Nimitz class has an air wing more powerful than the entire air force of most countries. Being nuclear powered, Nimitz class has unlimited range and hence is capable of projecting power far beyond the US coastlines. The Nimitz strike fighters are primarily F-18 Hornets and F-18 Super Hornets. These are twin-engine, carrier-capable, fourth-generation, multi-role fighter aircrafts designed for land and air attacks. Being very versatile, these can be used to carry out a multitude of missions. In the coming days, these will also deploy F-35 fifth-generation fighters, which will make it even more lethal. Number three. The B-2 Spirit was developed to take over the United States Air Force vital penetration missions, able to travel deep into enemy territory to deploy their ordnance, which could include nuclear weapons. Stealth capability provides greater freedom of action as the bomber can evade enemy air defenses. The United States Air Force reports B-2's range as approximately 6,900 miles or 11,000 kilometers. It has an excellent payload too. The B-2 has two internal bays for ordnance and payload with maximum estimated limit of 50,000 pounds. It can carry 16 B-61 or B-83 nuclear bombs on rotary launcher assembly. The B-61 is a variable yield kiloton range weapon. Tactical versions can be set to 0 0.3, 1.5, 5, 10, 45, 60, 80 or 170 kiloton explosive yield and the strategic version has a yield of 340 kilotons. The B-83 thermonuclear weapon is a variable yield gravity bomb. It is the most powerful free fall nuclear weapon in the United States arsenal with a maximum yield of 1.2 megatons of TNT. Number two. Minuteman 3 ICBM is one component of the US nuclear triad, 
the other two parts of the triad being the Trident Submarine Launched Ballistic Missile SLBM, and nuclear weapons carried by long-range strategic bombers. For the knowledge of viewers, the Minuteman III was the world's first MIRV that's multiple independent re-entry vehicle intercontinental ballistic missile and Minuteman's series of missile are the only land-based ICBM in the United States arsenal. It has an approximate range of 8,100 miles and a speed of more than 15,000 miles per hour. The Minuteman III can carry a maximum of three warheads with a cumulative weight of 1150 kilograms, so a single missile can target three independent locations. These are kept in hardened silos and dispersed strategically across the vast American landmass, making it very hard for enemies to locate. Number 1 The Ohio class is a class of nuclear-powered submarines that is considered to be one of the most lethal platforms in the world. The U.S. Navy has 18 Ohio class submarines, 14 ballistic missile submarines SSBN, and four that were later converted to guided missile submarines SSGN. The Ohio class submarines are the largest submarines ever built for the U.S. Navy having a displacement of 16,764 tons and unlimited range. The 14 ballistic missile submarines of Ohio class together carry approximately 50 percent of the total U.S. active inventory of strategic thermonuclear warheads. Each of these submarines carries 24 Trident II submarine launched ballistic missiles. Trident II has a range of 11,000 kilometers and has an excellent accuracy of 90 meters. Each of these missiles has 12 MIRV that's multiple independent re-entry vehicle nuclear warheads and each of these warheads have an explosive power equivalent to 300 to 475 kilotons of TNT. Viewers can get an idea of the power from the fact that the little boy used on Hiroshima had a yield of 15 kilotons of TNT. These submarines prowl silently in vast oceans invisible to enemy and can strike at a moment's notice. Practically immune to detection combined with massive destructive power makes the Ohio class ballistic missile submarines the most potent assets of the U.S. forces. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.